for the ones that dared to doubt me Here's to the ones that went there without me To the friends that once cared about me Why then are you scared to shout me? Least brought and I'm eating out, eat grout Be sour than kids spring and pouting Rerouting up in the mountain Shout, need a belief in the top three Pursuit the few that renew me Shoes be bigger than huge kangaroos feet Big news you lose just to prove me Right, we fight and you try to bruise me Um, Rashad, I see that I've been knowing you since 2004, just to be honest. Mm -hmm. uh, and every time I've seen you, you always have um, something on your wrist. <laughs> can, can you explain to me, like, your ensemble, like, what goes into the thought process? Like, what, why do you put on what you put on? Sure. Uh, well, let's see. I just started wearing a watch again this year, and it was because it was a gift. I didn't like wearing watches for a long time because I don't like living by someone else's time. You know, I'm part of the people who created time. So I don't want to live by someone else's time. I want to live by my own. I can tell you what time it is by looking at the sun, not by looking at my watch. I feel it. I feel okay. you on that. You know, I'm a Boy Scout. I'm an Eagle Scout. So, you know, I mean, that's just something. I believe in loving the earth. But I always like to wear something that's representative of where my people came from. So I know that my people were taken from, from the continent of Africa. This, this uh, is from Ghana, West Africa. So I always like to wear something from Africa on me. That's why I don't like diamonds and I don't like rings. You know, I mean, I know that people use them, the symbols of marriage and symbols of, you know, and, and, and I respect that too, you know. I mean, I plan to get married one day and I'm sure that I'll be, you know what I'm saying, you know, like rocking something. But I prefer actually not to, not because I don't, I want to hide being union, it's nothing like that, but because that ain't, that's not, that's not natural to our people. Like, that's not how we roll. You know, if you look at our, at us, at us historically, if you look at, pictures of us, you know. I mean, we were dressed up definitely if you look at like our dynasties, but we just, it wasn't just that, you know. It was what we wore represented who we were. You see what I'm saying? Most people don't dress who they are. They dress how they want people to see them. So my, I dress how, how, who I am. So this shirt right here, you see the message on it. Well, that's, that's what I believe. You know, um, I have on, let's put a little bit of my smoothie on me. Um, I have on, you know, black jeans because I, I like to wear black. I like to be dressed in black. Black is always characterized as a color of negativity or sadness. Like in, in West Africa, they wear black to, to, to like funerals mm -hmm. and red, but then we wear white to, you know, weddings. So no, I like to wear black to change the meaning of that. Because before there was light, there was dark. So I represent the original. Uh, I would like to wear shoes that are comfortable, you know, for me. Uh, I said I was most handsome because I don't have anything on me. Like, I don't have any hair, you know, really. I mean, I have low hair, so there's nothing to draw attention to me when you see me, except for when you listen to me. Mm -hmm. So if my words, can, you know, get you, that's why I chose the name Rashad, you know, because my name, uh, or our name, basically, means a lot of different things, you know. And so, I mean, I don't even think my parents really knew what they were doing when they named me that. Because they didn't know what that name actually meant. Mm -hmm. You know, I was named after Amar Richard, the football player. Because my mom wanted me to be a junior, and my dad didn't want me to be a junior. So his name is Thomas, my name is Thomas, but his name is William, and I'm Richard. But Richard in Arabic means a number of things from eye of God to counselor, helper, protector. And I think about everything that I do in my life now, and that's exactly what I do. Just one more thing, uh, real quick. You mentioned uh, a smoothie. Like, mm -hmm. What what is a Rashad? What's Rashad's diet? I mean, what, mm. what do you eat to <laughs> do insanity literally every day religiously? I do to be God by God. I do. <laughs> I mean, um, well, I, I am a vegetarian. Not that I promote that. I think everybody should be a vegetarian, but I mean, I am one. I like to cook my own food. Uh, I like to make smoothies. My smoothies could be like a glowing green smoothie, you know. And I'm saying that people can Google it, you know, those who are watching. Um, but I, I like to make. Uh, I mean, I like to make my own peanut butter, my own spaghetti sauce, all of that. I like to make my own juices, and that's how I take care of myself. You know, um, I I like to find what people have said about men that like past the sexism stuff. I want to defy when people say that we reach our sexual peak at 25. No, we don't. You probably reach your sexual peak at 25 if you're not taking care of yourself. And if you're not keeping your blood flowing through your veins and putting things in your body that keep you up and vibrant and vibrant, you know. You know, like what, like, like if, I, if I look at somebody and I see red eyes, I know something's going on inside their body. Red eyes and you're not high. Yes. Then I know something's going on in your body. Like there's a, there's something's happening. It could be with one of your organs. It could be blood pressure. It's, it's something. 
a healthy person, your eyes are usually going to be white. Mm -hmm. Your nails are going to be white. They're going to be clear. So uh, that, that's why I, I really focus on good health all the time because I don't really think people, you know, we weren't taught good health growing up, especially if you're from the dirty. You weren't taught good health. We eat for comfort. Mm. We live in a country, as Chris Rock would say, where people hunt on a full stomach. You know? So we have a lot of things given to us. Good health is not something that, 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 that we were taught. I didn't grow up healthy. I didn't grow up with, with good health. As a matter of fact, that's how I lost most of my, my family members in particular who died. My friends I lost because of death and being involved in bad stuff. But my family members that died, they died from curable sicknesses. Diabetes, hypertension. And I don't want that to be me. You know, um, I don't want to... I don't want to leave this, I, I, I want to leave this earth tired and ready to go when I die, so I'm not scared to die. But I don't want to leave this earth because I didn't take care of myself and provide the world with what God has called me to give me. No. Because then I'm cheating God. That's suicide. That is, that's real suicide, not living out your purpose. Suicide ain't just taking yourself out. Suicide is not living out your purpose. And everybody can do it from those who believe in God and those who don't. We can all take ourselves out by not paying attention. Oh, Rashad, I'm about to take myself out of this interview. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that wisdom you dropped on your brothers, as always. Thank you for the question, sir. Really? This for the God ones bless, that man. Yeah. Me. Yeah. Here's to the ones that went there without me. To the friends that once cared about me. Why then are you scared to scout me? Least sprout and I'm eating out, eat grout, be sour than kids scream and pouting. Rerouting up in the mountain, shout, need to believe in the top three.